management electives once again if you have not done this question hit pause read the question get it try it for a while and then come back and uh, look at this video there's no point having a look at the video without having tried this right let's read this adriana bandita chitra and daisy are four female students amit barun chetan and dev are four male students each of them studies in one of three institutes x y and z both are a b c d a b c d each student majors in one subject among marketing finance operations and finance and minors in a different one and so you cannot mark major and minor in marketing among these three subjects the following facts are known about the eight students so we're going to have uh, four male students four three female students eight students in three institutes each majoring and minoring in different one of these three subjects that's what we're looking to complete the grid about fine three students are from x three are from y remaining two both female are from z x y z these are two females three each both the male students from y minor in finance so two male students from y both of them that means there are two and both major and minor in finance that means the third one is female so three females and two males have been accounted for we should have two males and a female in x also while the female student from y majors in operations I'm not able to account for all the information so i'll draw a table draw a table and then dig deeper only one male student operates majors in operations while three female students minor in marketing three minor in marketing that's a lot so this could be a crucial constraint one female and two male students major in finance one female and two male students major in finance so you've got three female students minoring one female and two male students majoring in uh, three female students minoring in marketing and this is in finance Adriana and Deb are from the same institute. Adriana is a girl, Deb is a boy. That means you're talking about X or Y, not Z. Daisy and Amit are from the same institute. Again, we're talking about X or or Y, not Z. We've accounted for A and D among the girls from X and Y. That means Z has girls starting with B and C, Bandita and something else. And I'm going to think of the females as A, B, C, D. male says something else a dash b dash c dash d dash so that we can make that distinction barun is from y and majors in operation this is brilliant i love constraints like these we can put barun in y and then say that he is majoring in operation chetan is from x and majors in finance brilliant so we can we can directly write down what they are majoring in they see minors in operations brilliant this is very useful now i'm going to i'm going to like this constraint a lot i think because we know exactly who is in which college and who, which one he or she is majoring in right so that's very useful let's go step by step these are the questions from here we've already done this x y z two males and one female two males and one female zero males and two females right decided to call the, the females a b c and d the males amit will be am barun will be br chetan will be c10 and deb will be db fine wonderful two males and one female in x two males and one female in y zero males and two females in z so far so good so let's go to this constraint barun is from y and majors in operations barun y operations chetan is from x and majors in finance c10 majors in finance so i'm going to write major slash minor for each of the students we've got the name college name and major for two of the guys this so this we put in directly okay. we know that b and c are here wonderful both the male students from y minor in finance while the female student from y majors in operations so this is male 
one more male minors in finance the female majors in operations remember we already know daisy minors in operations and daisy is not in z so daisy cannot be in y as well or daisy has to be in x and she has to minor in ops this female cannot be daisy because daisy cannot major and minor in the same subject that we know we know this is b and c so daisy has to be here and minoring in ops so daisy here minoring in ops this automatically tells us that amit should also be here amit and daisy are from the same that means we can fill this as well so we have amit and daisy in the same institute varun here chetan here deb should be here along with adriana and because those two are from the same institute we already know that as well daisy has minored in operations these two have minored in finance chetan has majored in finance brilliant so deb and adriana should be the other pair that we already knew from the same institute that is not from x it should be from y now the next thing we can fill is three females three girls minored in marketing daisy minors in ops so adriana vandita and whatever the c stands for they all minored in marketing and so we filled in a bunch of things we know the colleges for each student for each college we know the students we filled in major and minor for a bunch of things let's see if you have missed out something else minors for a b and c are all marketing only one student majors in operations only one male student operations mind in in majors in operation that is varun and while three female students minor in marketing that we have already put in okay. let's build this one female and two male students major in finance one female and two male students major in finance am should major in finance because db cannot major in finance because he is minoring in finance so c10 and am major in finance and only one male student majors in operations two male students major in fin so the last male student should have majored in marketing so db should have majored in marketing two in finance one in ops remaining is marketing we can put this in and so we've got a grid we don't know this detail this detail too well we don't know what dc majored in we don't know what b and c majored in one of them should have been finance that much we know but we've not got detail more than that right but let's move to the question we've got this far the remaining details maybe some information from the question will will fill those in for us who are the students from institute said b and c c vandita and chitra this is an easy question straight away choice 3 which subject does deb minor in deb is this minus in finance you can see that choice 3 which subject that amit major in amit amit majors in finance choice 3 done the first three questions have been very easy we've not even had to worry about filling something in if chitra majors in finance chitra majors in finance which subject that bandita major in bandita should have majored in either ops or finance because she has minored in marketing now only one female student majors in finance so that is out so bandita should have majored in ops choice to once we have filled out this grid then this the set of four questions become very simple and so two males and a female two males and a female zero and two that is the easy part then we put in barun and c10 because we have been given more information about these two then we know a boy and a girl boy and a girl together that means the girls were not together along with some one boy that we know should be in z that we put in then daisy has minored in finance 
sorry minored in operations if daisy goes here once we put daisy here the other two come here these two come here and then we are through and simple enough set this is something that should have definitely tried in the exam